Carter Caves Campground is our last stop in Kentucky. A very peaceful campground. Had a wonderful playground for the kids to play at. And a family activity that we were able to try. We found out who had the best skills. and who had the most fun. We came to the conclusion that my wife and I are about even when it comes to miniature golf. And our son is um, uh, very close to beating both of us. After a couple rounds of miniature golf, we decided to go exploring on the nearby trails. go to the actual caves on a guided tour, but there are some really beautiful spots to check out. Since the early 19th century, adventurers have been attracted to the caves in this area. For some, there was a need to enter the caves because they provided raw materials, which improved daily life. Others entered just for the fascination of the wonders and mysteries within the caves. Many caves have been found in the area, each different from the other and each given its own name. Since 1946, Carter Caves State Resort Park has been established to provide visitors with an opportunity to safely see some of the caves while protecting nature's handiwork for future generations. Almost heaven, West Virginia. I never appreciated the elevation until driving through. With an average height of 1,500 feet above sea level, West Virginia is the tallest state east of the Mississippi River. The highway was a non-stop, up, down, twist, and turn. It definitely gave our transmission a workout. The height of the state was caused when what is now known as Africa collided with North America a very long time ago. West Virginia, the state, was formed after breaking away from Virginia during the Civil War. It was admitted to the Union on June 10, 1863. It is the only state to be admitted under presidential proclamation. Mother's Day was first observed as a holiday here in West Virginia on May 10, 1908. It became a national holiday in 1914. Camping in West Virginia is fun because there's no shortage of places to go. 
Nearly 75% of the state is covered by forests. Our first night, however, was not spent at a campground. We found ourselves at a rest stop about halfway through the state and found a cozy spot to park for the night. It was getting late and I had a project to work on. Alright, so our refrigerator stopped working on the propane. And I think the problem is right in here. Follow this line all the way to where it ignites and it clicks right back in there. It's all corroded. And I think that's our problem. So I'm going to get that cleaned up inside there and see if that fixes it. Okay, so went ahead and just pulled this out. It was just one screw holding it right in here. And then I cleaned the tip off with an eraser. Situated within 1,900 acres of park grounds, the Stonewell Resort offers immaculate views of West Virginia's rolling mountains and tranquil lake waters. We stopped for the playground and the marina. We also found a few cool surprises along the way. Hundreds of what we believe are common carp line the dock area in anticipation for a quick snack. We were given a little bag of goodies from the park employee and the fish loved it. We also fed a few ducks. That will do it for this episode. Join us next time as we continue our trip through West Virginia and into Maryland. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe button, and we'll see you soon.